All right, so I don't have to go through that process, I don't think. It's just a big cut scene, and then we go there, I suppose. I thought that's what I had to do. So I was like, what the fuck? I've got to get dressed and stuff. So it took so long to collect my stuff, but I was like, I, I didn't know it was a sequence you had to go through. We were just generally looking for stuff. It kind of annoyed the shit out of me, but whatever. Oh, this is the, yeah, this is the, the chick at the, the police station, right? That's who we're having lunch with. Heidi. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Because, girl, you look like shit. I uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Who the fuck is... Who the fuck is in that town flashing people? An old woman. <laughs> who the fuck is doing that shit? Hello, Miss Ronan. Hello, I really want... Oh, damn, it looks nice. Damn. Right, let's talk, talk to him before we eat. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Ooh. All right, let's eat this, though. These look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes. She takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Why are they looking? On the wheat. These look like wild berries. Damn it! Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very. Where is a uh, box? Mailbox. <sighs> Son of a bitch. This police station was just, like fucking empty, like point blank. It's weird. At least we didn't spend the night here. Again, where is her mailbox thing? I suppose we can go see fucking Eddie. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, let's do that. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. I'm going to be hanging around upstairs. The armory. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. For Christ's sake. I guess we kind of exposed some holes in their security. Important. New process. Okay. To access archives. File requests and turn network. Personal info begins. Retrieve what make. Okay. Reply containing single sent. Okay. I see. So to go in the archive for them, they've basically changed the system. Um, I probably shouldn't eavesdrop, but... Okay, fair enough. Um, but where the hell was... How, how do I... What did he say about that woman? Oh, where's her file? Hey, Gregs. Going around in circles? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. Uh. God, I hope no one got hurt. <laughs> Days without seeing a bear. Again, don't know where to go. <sighs> Just waiting for her, but I know what we're supposed to put. I, I didn't even get her a present, did I? That's what I was supposed to do. No.
Nah, I do. What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. <laughs> I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, Allie, but I really need to finish this before I can break. No worries. I'm not in a rush. But I might fill up on cobbler in the meantime. <laughs> uh, we can't because they're not letting us get the fucking cobbler. So annoying. Ooh, these look like wild berries. It's so fucking annoying. What am I doing wrong? Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously, very seriously. We can't go upstairs. We can't. Hey, Grex. Oh, what are you up to, Allison? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. But look, I can't. Give me an option to sit down. There's no chair to pull. Ah. Right, I'm gonna use this. Is this what you're saying we gotta do? I don't even know. Washing our face, I don't know. What was going on with me this morning? So fucking. Scary. I see. We ha see. I don't like that. You have to do certain things. You all right, kid? Yeah, just super tired. Hey, Gregs. Oh, what are you up to, Allison? Uh, Nothing really. Just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Again. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very I can't do anything with a chair. I can't do fuck all. Oh, here we go. What is Greg's up to with the security cameras? Uh, he's finally getting around to doing the upstairs cameras. We are supposed to do it months ago. This cobbler does look amazing. Greg's been whining all day about his diet, but he's not fooling anyone. All right. <sighs> Feels like you got to go for a load of protocols. We uh, have new rules about civilians hanging around certain parts of the station. Reception booth is out of bounds. Sorry. Uh, I wouldn't mind if I could do something. Kid-sized bandit? What a weird-ass case. Missing mail. Inquired that mailbox bandit has been nine days. I still haven't had any mail. My granddaughter, Madison, is on her honeymoon, blah, blah, blah. She made a computer work. She said she would write, blah, blah, blah. Nine days, my god, whatever. I'm not gonna go into mass detail over it, I won't lie. That's weird. I'm gonna fucking knock. Eddie's taking a piss. <laughs> so, my apologies, this has gone on for X, Y, and Z amount of time. I really can't go until I drop my paperwork off with Eddie. Hold on. There we go, my bad. Drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Uncle's in there. <laughs> He's really letting that guy have it. So my bad guys, I didn't know. Uh, feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. She done?
Hey, Grex. Oh, what are you up to, Allison? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. See, now it's... Yeah, you have to do it in sequence. It's so annoying. That is annoying. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? You were not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? I've had one bite. What are you having? <laughs> Trout pie and, uh, black radish. Jesus, what? A, diet. a cobbler diet? Trout pie and what? Black radish? That sounds disgusting. Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. Hey, Gregs. Crime in Dallas Crossing. Vacation plans. Uh... Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from... God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, Greg. Ah. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. Oh, cool. Hey, guys. Uh, anything else? That's it. Uh, never mind. We've spoken about everything at this point. Here we go, finally. Whew. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Uh... A kid. I'm gonna say a kid. Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh. Wrong. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash band of stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, I'm hey. so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. A raccoon. Thanks. Stealing mail. Why? I try again soon. I feel so bad about missing your birthday. I thought about making you something, but I was a little strapped for time, so... No, I get it. With your brother back, I see where your priorities are now. What? No, no, it's not... Relax, I'm just kidding. I really gotta go now. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, alright? See ya. That was some fucking lunch, wasn't it? Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Uh, well, the mess he made, well, he just wanted the file and was annoyed. Um, I don't know how to respond to that. Oh, I don't want to be a dick, but whatever. Um, I'm just going to apologize. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. 
The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose? I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. <sighs> like, the Allison that they know, like, we wouldn't do this to any other. Like, come on. F that annoys the shit out of me. Oh, God. Um, we did what we had to. Fuck it. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest. Stable. You're not a troublemaker. Tyler. I mean... If he goes down, don't let him take you with him. Okay? I... I can't... I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. What was that about? You touched her, and memories came flooding back? Ty? Are you there? Tyler? Answer me, please! Fuck! Why is he ghosting me? Oh, I see. We're asking. I can't breathe. Please stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're trying to contact Tyler in our head. This will pass. But he's not replying. <sighs> Wait, what the hell's going on here? Match this... what? Hold the right trigger max in circle, what? Oh, I see. I just need to breathe in and out. Oh, to breathe in... wait, what? The circles. This is weird. What is going on here? Right trigger. Just keep going. In and out. I'm very confused. It'll end. This is so annoying. It'll end. Hold to ma hold oh, wait. Hold what the fuck? I'm very confused. What's going on here? Shrinking circle. I think I need to just let go. What's happening? I'm so scared, Allison. Me too. I don't want to go. And maybe... Maybe we should tell them the truth. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe. But... What if we get in trouble and then we both get Have sent away? Hey, Chief Brown. Wait. I, uh... I went back to the house and got these three kids. They, uh, they wouldn't let me take anything else. I'm, I'm sorry. Sam, please tell them to let us stay together. Please. Oh, gosh. Please. Uh, I don't have that kind of power. Sam. Oh, kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Sam, we're remembering Sam. 
That's who we got to see next. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. So yeah, that was confusing the hell out of me, that fucking thing they want me to do. New game mechanic or whatever they... That was weird. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? been so wrong about everything did Tyler say something to make you feel that way no it wasn't him it was me I failed him over and over from here it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him you don't understand Allie you've got so much weight on your shoulders with Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. Oh. Oh, telling him that we were responsible. I don't know how that would affect the game, whatever, or or the situation, but he's a straight cop. I don't. I mean, he kept it off a record before, but I don't know. I don't know if I should tell him that. I'll let that one lay. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again, ever. I understand. Trust me, I do but there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her, something bad. I don't know what it was, but it never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. I killed Moran, I can't move on. Uh, maybe it'd be good for the character to confess that, but only to Eddie. I don't know if that's a good thing to do or not. It may come out eventually if we got therapy, I don't know. Uh it seems like they want us to confess at this point. They're giving us two opportunities. Um, that is a weight on our shoulders. That's what's bringing us partially down. Like, But we're trying to process it and move on. Fuck it, let's just say. Let's tell him. Uncle. It was me. I... is the one who... Had the scissors. What? 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 What are you saying? She. She was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> I 
But Tyler confessed. He... He went to Fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. you let him take the blame it was a mistake i know well he but wanted to shock. tyler wanted to take the blame and i let him <laughs> but we should have told the truth <laughs> must have really hurt keeping that inside all these years they pretty much just bottled it up and now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I did it in the hopes that it would perhaps clear the air, I suppose. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. In her own mind, sorry. Take the pressure off, but I don't think Eddie is saying anything. I'm so sorry. It's done is done. None of this was fair to you two. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. He brought our goblins. How close was he to Marianne? Let's go with that, okay. How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He All right, he is out, Dad. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility. But I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. So it's looking more and more that this guy is our father. Um, and there's a whole other can of worms to open up. You might have, may have a family. Eddie didn't say he had a family and everything else. You'll disturb his family. You'll upset people. Obviously, you know that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, man. Damn. Of course, we, of course, we got to get Tyler back in the game, as it were. He was probably going to want us to come with us to speak to him. I don't see us doing that alone. Surely not. Wait, I'm going alone apparently. Damn, that's crazy. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of this part of the playthrough. I'm sorry the lunch part or whatever took so long. I might edit that down. I don't know. Uh, that was very annoying to me, just frustrating. 
Uh, having said that, uh, we've done a lot in this video. Um, but yeah, so we confessed to the killing. I was hoping that was going to ease the pressure, maybe make us feel better. Uh, she said it did actually, ironically. Um, uh, you know, in therapy, if you confess anything, I believe the law, depending on where you're at, I suppose. I think that if you do say anything like what you did that was illegal or whatever, they have to report it to the police or have a duty to report it. Whether they do or not, I don't know. So you can't really come out saying, yeah, to get that weight off my mind, I killed someone. That's going to, you know, put you in a lot of trouble. I don't think Eddie will say anything. At the end of the day, the crime is done. The, the debt has been paid to society. Ten years it took. Yeah, she didn't pay it, but somebody took the fall. And, uh, it, you know, he wanted to take it, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. So that's finally off our uh, off our chest and that. Um, I think that it will continue the whole situation with her mother seeing things because of the whole digging deep and she's compressed it and, and you know, like, uh, in her mindset and just ignored it and never really got help with it. That's interesting as well. That never came to pass. Um, I thought that Eddie was going to offer to pay for counselling or something like that. Um, who knows? That's what she needs long term, I feel. But I kind of felt that if you didn't go down that route, to get all this out in the open, to, 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 to solve the mystery of who our father was or how she died or whatever, what other people knew, uh, would kind of like, and we move away, we would kind of get out of there, be free from that, and it would have been the past as a past kind of thing. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links will be in the description below, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.